Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I am going to show you how to add and customize markers in the Sync Fusion Blazor Maps control. Look at this example, where World Map displays markers about the top cities by population in the world. The markers in the map appear with two different shapes and colors. Now, I will show you how to write the code to add and customize markers in the Blazor Maps control. First, I open an existing Blazor Maps application, to which I already added a simple Blazor Maps component with basic properties. I have added a GeoJSON shape of the world map in the maps layer, and set the T value property as string. I defined a custom color for the map shapes using the fill property. If you would like to watch the video on how to create this Blazor app, follow the link provided in the card above or description below. Now, I will run this example by pressing F5. You can see the Blazor Maps control rendered with the world geographic shape. Next, I will show you how to add markers to the map. First, I need to populate the data source in the map. I want to populate the cities with the most population. So, let me define a class, country data, that holds four fields, name, latitude, longitude, and population. Then. I create a list called population details of type country data and assign an array of objects to that list. Now, I am going to add markers to the map. So, I define the maps marker tag within this maps marker settings. It accepts n number of maps marker definitions. To enable the marker visibility, I define the visible property and set its value as true. Next, I define the property data source with the appropriate value and add the data source type to the map using the t-value property. And lastly, I set the title as highly populated cities in the world using the text property inside the map's title settings tag. So here, you can see the Blazor map rendered with markers on the world map. Now, I am going to show you how to change the shape of the markers. By default, the marker shape will be balloon, but the markers also support other shapes like circle, cross, diamond, and so on. To change the markers, I define the property shape and set the appropriate option to it. Seeing the output now, the map is displayed with circle markers. Next, I am going to show you how to customize the markers in the map. You can customize them using the properties, fill, dash array, height, width, opacity, animation delay, and animation duration. Also, can set a custom border width and color using the map's marker border class. I want to apply a custom color and border to the markers in the map, so I define the fill with the appropriate value. Then, I will add a map's marker border definition and define the color and width with custom values. Now, the markers in the output display with the custom color and border. Next, I will show you how to render the markers as images. First, I need to change the shape property value to image. Then, I add the image path using the image URL property. I want to set a custom height and width for the markers, so let me define the property's height and width with appropriate values. As I am going to render the markers as images, so let me remove the fill property and maps marker border customization from the maps code. And here, you can see the map displaying the image markers with the customized size. Next, I will show you how to set colors and shapes for markers from the data source. First, I need to add two more fields, color and shape, with appropriate values to the existing map data source. Then, I assign this color field to the color value path property and shape to the shape value path to set the colors and shapes for the markers in the map. As I define the marker colors and shapes from the data source, I will remove the shape, image URL, height, and width properties from the Blazor Maps code. Look at the map output, which shows markers in different colors and shapes. Next, I will show you how to show tooltips on markers while hovering over the cities in the map. Within this Maps Marker section, I define the Maps Marker Tooltip Settings tag. Then, to enable the tooltip, I define the visible property and set its value to true. Finally, I set value path with an appropriate value to show the population value in the tooltip. 
See in the output, there's a tooltip shown for every data point in the map. Next, I will show you how to format the tooltip. I want to show the city in population value in the tooltip, so, I define the format property and add the data source fields, name and population to it. Looking at the map output now, the tooltip shows the city and population for every data point in the map. By default, the latitude and longitude values determine the location of each marker in the map's control. The latitude and longitude values are directly taken from the map's data source. If I want to specify the value path, then I can use the latitude value path and longitude value path properties. Okay, that's it. In this video, we have seen how to add markers to the Blazor Maps component and change the marker's shape. We saw how to customize the color and shape of the markers from the map's data source. Finally, we saw how to add tooltips and format them. If you would like to see a working example of the map in this video, you can download it from the GitHub link in the description below. I have also provided a link in the description where you can see if you qualify for a free license key to use our Blazor products through our community license. If you found this video useful, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.